Well, after two years of a hiatus, the Matthews Alive Festival is back in full swing. The four day event is a staple for the community. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman is there now. Julia, it looks like a lot of excitement out there for, for families. There sure is, Fred. In this past hour, it's gotten jam-packed. It's been crowded all day, but we're really seeing it pick up. I think now that the sun is going down and it's getting a little bit cooler. And let's be honest, the real reason most of us come to these festivals is the food. I mean, check this out. We've got turkey legs on the grill. We've got chips, funnel cake, of course, can't forget that. Footlong corn dogs, anything fried you can think of, they have it here. But hey, if you're not a foodie, there's still plenty of other fun things to do here at Matthews Alive. They've got some serious amusement park rides here for all ages and games and live music. Of course, they've got acts going on here all night tonight. 16 year old Kennedy, I spoke with her earlier. She told me she is having so much fun today because it's her first big festival since before the pandemic. As a matter of fact, it feels wonderful. Like I was, I'm stuck in the house all day, so it it's good to, you know, have uh, some sun. <laughs> Well, all of this fun and the live music goes till 10 o'clock tonight, but if you can't make it today, they've got a jam-packed calendar tomorrow and Monday as well. So, Fred, I'm going to go order some food, so I'll send it back to you for now. Yeah, and bring some food back to the station, too, now. Don't forget about that. <laughs> all right, Julie Kaufman reporting. Thank you. <laughs>